What up, what up, what up? Welcome to Morning Vibes. Woo! Grand rising to the kings, the queens, the emperors, the empress, the gods, the goddess, gods and the earths, kings and the queens, Christians, Muslims, Catholics, Buddhists, agnostics, Scientologists, and even atheists. Good morning. It's Saturday. It's raining. And me, I like rain. Rain doesn't bother me too much. In fact, I got to work outside, so I'm kind of used to it. Actually, an a aphrodisiac for me. Wear it, right? But that's a whole nother story. But um, it's raining, and you know, a lot of times it rains in our lives. And this is really um, for my melanated sisters, you know, brothers, you know. You know, I'm all about that little, even my pick got the black fist on it, I don't play. Um, I want to talk about uh, encouraging our women, because I actually seen a post on it by a young lady that be on my, um, that's on my timeline on Facebook, by the way. Subscribe, hit the subscribe button, hit the thumbs up button, and follow me on Facebook, Morning Vibes, it's Morning Vibes public, it's on there so we can chat, we can talk. You can, um, something you want to talk about, any questions you want to put out there, you can put it out, and you know, that you want to ask or something you might want me to touch on, I could touch on that, we could go from there. But anyway, this is our thing, this is the thing, right? This is what i um, not learning, but really coming to understand that women, especially my um, melanated sisters, they love hard hell they like hard and when they really like you they put a lot of emotional energy into it they're not the most physical um they don't do it they're not really uh they really don't show their love extremely physical you know that's what we do you know we're more physical by nature so we show our love physically they do it more through their emotions how they talk to you how they nurture you how they um feed you mentally and spiritually and what we have to do is we have to start encouraging no more you have to start giving that energy back all right fellas real talk we have to start giving that energy back because they are being depleted they're tired you know they give a lot and they're not getting that back in return so you know tell them that they're beautiful you know, tell them that they're great, that they're unstoppable. Hell, tell them thank you. Say, you know, I appreciate what you do for me. Trust and believe it helps. It might not seem like it, but it helps them and re-energizes them. It lets them know that what they're doing is not in vain. All right? Because I understand as a melanated man, we're under attack. But don't forget, once they move us out the way, they get attacked okay they move us out the way to get them so you know they could do whatever they got to do that's a whole nother subject we're not gonna go into that but we as men as melanated men as melanated kings we have to uplift our melanated queens we gotta let them know that they got this and that we got them and that you know we 10 toes down with them baby 10 toes all the way in feet down on the ground solidly planted rooted right next to the side so they know that way you know they don't have to um worry about it you know, that they know that they got some type of support. Because trust me, our melanated women will go to past the moon. They will go to Saturn, Jupiter, Pluto, to the farthest reaches to make sure we good. So we need to go as far as they can and support them. Because a lot of our women are doing a lot of great things, you know. My um sweetheart is doing great things, you know. I ain't going to speak too much on it. She want me to keep it quiet. But she's, she's making a major move. And... You know, between that and going to school and being a mom, she got um, overwhelmed, you know. And, of course, me, me, the type of man I am, I wanted to help, but I really couldn't help because there was really nothing I could do, you know. Laptop was acting up. She's feeling overwhelmed, you know. And I could hear it in my baby's voice that, you know, she's feeling some type of way. And I let her vent, you know, I let her talk. And I'm sitting here, you know, trying to figure out how to help 
And I woke up the next morning and I was like, I'm going to write her a letter, handwritten. No typey typey. Grab the old pen, grab a blank piece of paper with the lines, and boom, got the writing. You know, gave her a whole bunch of words of encouragement. Boom, 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 boom. Grabbed the envelope, wrote her name on it, and I was like, here, I handed it to her that morning. Like, here, here, baby, I left you something in the car. I need you to, um, I need, I, want, I left you something in the car. I want you to read that, you know, and it made her feel good, which she deserves, you know. It was genuine. It has to be genuine if you're going to do things like this. But it uplifted her spirits, and it also let her know she wasn't by herself, you know. Gave her some of that encouragement because she's doing a lot. You know, and it's a struggle. It's not easy. It's not easy, you know, trying to build what you're trying to build and be a parent and go to work. You know what I'm saying? And be this, that, and the third. You know, we got to we gotta uplift our, our melanated sisters heavy. We got to, man. We got to let them know that they're special, that they're beautiful, that they're wonderful. That's what we have to do. And, it, and to be honest with you, it needs to be daily, you know, before they hit the storm, during the storm, and after the storm. You know what I mean? You know, when she comes out on top, my favorite thing is to tell her, see, I told you. You know, sometimes she's like, oh, here we go. But I like to be like, yeah, I told you you got this. You, you know what I mean? You can handle that. I told you. I had no doubt. And I truly in my heart believe that she had it. And I, you know, I didn't have no doubt about that. So she did what she did. And, you know, she be, she be making moves. But as melanated men we gotta be back there pushing them like they pushing us you know rooting them on like they rooting us because they need that to be honest with you it gets tiring feeling like you're by yourself i know that feeling and feeling like i'm doing this and ain't nobody helping me i know that feeling so we gotta do it ourselves you know we gotta push them we gotta be their biggest support system we gotta be on the sideline with the number one um phone finger she's number one She's number one, clapping her up, screaming, that's my baby, oh, that's my sister, oh, that's my cousin, that's my niece, that's my aunt, that's my mom. We got to push them on because they are tired. They are tired. You got to remember, the system was set up to make them feel like they have to do everything by themselves. And then you got a lot of these suckers out here that let them do it by themselves, you know. A lot of suckers out here letting them do it by themselves. So... Encourage our melanated sisters today. Do it. Encourage them hard. I mean, real hard. That's what we got to do. It's up to us. We can't let everybody else do it. We can't wait for everybody else to do it because they're waiting on us to do it. They're looking at us like, well, my brother, can you, can I get some words of encouragement? You know, when I'm looking at my worst, can you tell me I'm beautiful? You know what I'm saying? When I'm at my lowest point, can you make me feel Higher than cloud nine. You know, when I have self when I have self-doubt, can you talk can you give me a motivational speech to give me some confidence? These are things that they're looking for, and we have to give that to them. Because if we don't, they're gonna they're gonna try themselves and they're gonna get tired, they're gonna get burnt out. I've seen it. Hell, I've been burnt out. You know, don't believe that your words mean nothing because they mean everything. Your words mean everything. So we have to uplift our sisters. It's up to us, my brothers. It's up to us. I don't want to hear, well, what about them uplifting us? Bro, they do. Trust me. As I went through this divorce, there were sisters there. Again, ten toes down, ten toes down, rooted, ready to rock. Hey, if you need your daughter's hair done, let me know. If you need a break, let me know. Hey. Don't let this define you. You know, these are women telling me this off the rip. We owe them that. I don't care what nobody say. I know owe is a strong word, but we owe them that. We owe them that. We owe them that energy because they give it to us all the time. Sometimes, most of the time, I mean, sometimes a lot of times it's on a subconscious level. They just do it because they love us. So, uplift your sister today. Uplift your, your, uh, your niece, your aunt. Your sister, your actual sister, uplift your spouse, your girlfriend, the woman you're dating, whatever she is, uplift her, lift her, get her up there. Help her adjust, adjust her crown, dust her off, give her a kiss, Mwah. tell her she got it, the world is yours, and I got you back, slap her on the butt, and send her out there to go handle business, she did. So, remember, we have to uplift our sisters today. It is Saturday, but it needs to be done Sunday to Sunday. That's all the time.
All right. So remember, uplift your melanated sisters today and every day. This month, every month. This year, all year. It's up to us, fellas. Time to get it together. And remember, hit the subscribe button. Boom. Hit the thumbs up. Boom. Follow me on. Follow us on Facebook. Boom. Morning Vibes Public. With that said, I'm out. Love, peace, power to the people.